a month uh, until new Dallas police chief Renee Hall will officially start her new job. But some Dallas police officers already have a list of requests for their new boss. Ken Molestina live for us tonight with what they're asking for. Ken? Yeah, Doug, first day on the job for Chief Hall will be September 5th. And as you mentioned, she's already receiving a strong message by way of this letter from one police union. In it, it's got nine requests that they're asking of the new incoming chief, and all of it is shedding light on the low morale within this department. This is home. I'm staying here. Nine year DPD veteran Jose De La Rocha says, unlike so many other police officers in Dallas, he doesn't plan on leaving the department for greener pastures. But he, along with his union, the National Latino Law Enforcement Organization, are asking for a few things they believe will boost morale within the department. Something has to give on this department. Tops is a request for patrol officers who live within city limits be given take home cars. As soon as someone sees it, they notice it, they know it's there, they recognize it, they know the police around. And if you're a criminal, you get out of the area. Aside from the cars being a crime deterrent in their neighborhoods, De La Rocha says it will cut down on a tedious car assignment routine that every officer goes through at the beginning of their shift. And they have to do this 30, 40 minute process just to get a car, just to go take calls. And with so many officers leaving the department, he says there isn't a shortage of cars. There are definitely cars available that can be put into this, can, that can be put into a program like this. And I think now, since you do have a lower force, I mean, now would be the time to do it. Other requests on the list being asked of Chief Hall are things like reorganizing the leadership, reimbursement of uniform dry cleaning, and even a rifle training and assignment program. We need to do something to retain new officers or retain officers who have been here for years and years and years. Now, earlier tonight, I did reach out to DPD for a comment, a response on this letter. We're still waiting to hear back from them. Meanwhile, the police union that you just heard from, they say they are confident that Chief Renee Hall will do right by them because she has previously spoken about the importance of having good morale within the department. We're live outside DPD headquarters in downtown Dallas. Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. Ken, thanks very much for the look inside there. Renee Hall, of course, coming to Dallas from the city of Detroit, as you know by now. She is leaving her job there as deputy chief. As Ken mentioned, she is expected to start on the 5th of September. In the meantime, a team from the city manager's office, we do know, is helping her with the transition. That includes finding a place to live, things like that. She will become the first ever female police chief in the city of Dallas.